Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Uh, today's tutorial, we are going to be making these grunge paint designs in Canva. Uh, so we have a few different ways of doing this. These two that I have here, I've got a grunge border around them. Um, you can also take these designs and put them into the brush strokes. There are a lot of different things that you can do with them. And I'm going to show you how to create all of these completely within Canva. This one I've used um, a Canva Christmas tree to create that. And this one I actually used my um, Nutcracker Canva frame design. I will link to that. But you can see, I mean, these are Canva frames. You could fill them with patterns. But here I just filled them with solid colors to create this design. The possibilities of this are so vast, like there's just tons and tons and tons of things you could do. So I just want to give you a general, this is the steps to follow to create it. And then you can really just let your creativity soar from there. Okay. So the first thing we want is to get the color base. And to do that, we're just going to use brush strokes. So I'm going to come over into the uh, Canva elements and I'm going to type brush stroke. I've already got it saved in there. And then come to the graphics. And it really doesn't matter if it's a black brush stroke or if it's got a color as long as you can change its color. If you're picking one that has a color, make sure that you can change it. And there's a lot here. I'm just gonna grab this one to start with. Um, and then let's go ahead and change it to a pink, okay? And I wanna rotate that. I could have left it the other way if I was kinda doing a top and bottom design, but I like this side to side type design. Okay, I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. And from here, I could come and get a different brush stroke to put beside it. Um, let me go ahead and pick one more. I'll actually grab this guy here. Rotate that. So that's a little more of a solid. Let's make that one the blue. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate the first one, and let's go ahead and flip it. Um, because I rotated it, my flips are reversed. If I try to flip it horizontal, it's actually going to go that way. So I'll just kind of put that here, position that to the back. Okay, so this is the base that we're going to be starting with. I'm going to group all these together and just kind of increase it to fit the size of my page. Okay, you can pick different brush strokes, you can pick thinner brush strokes. I actually did three thinner ones for this design and two thicker ones for this design. If your brush strokes have, let me show you one more thing. Um, if your brush stroke has a lot of see-through area, like this one will, let me just enlarge that and you come in here and you change it to you know whatever color you want and you decide there's too much see-through area you can duplicate it and overlay it and it will get thicker if you just want a little bit of a thicker look to it okay so there's our base now the next thing we want to do is pick our graphic um, I am going to I'm going to go with a Canva element just to make it easy to do, but you can get graphics from Creative Fabrica. Obviously, you can get them from me. I have this exact nutcracker, but I am about to be making a Santa in this same style that I will um, have as frames if you want to get that. But let's just put Herpy Christmas Tree. And graphics. And let's grab, all right, let me scroll down here. Let's take this Christmas tree, okay? 
And then I might want to edit the colors just a little bit to match more of my background, or I can change my background to match the tree. Um, I'm going to edit the tree here, though. I want this green to be a little more of the blue. That pink to be a little more of that pink. Okay. And then let's get some text. Type a T to pull up a text box. Change my font. Um, this font that I'm using, it's called Quarantine and Chill. I did get it from Creative Fabrica and I uploaded it into Canva. I will link to the font if you want it and I do have videos that will show you how to put it in Canva if you don't know how to do that. So there's Holly. I'm going to duplicate that so I can keep the same size and font. Type Jolly. Okay. Let's make these a little bit bigger. Maybe rotate it. You would play around with this, do whatever it is you want to do. Um, I'm just going to add a little dimension to these. Um, let's see. Let's make this one blue. And we'll make this one, whoops, didn't need to click that again, pink. And then we'll give them both an outline, effects, outline, whatever. That's what we're going to go with. Play around with it and get everything looking how you want it as far as your design goes. And then we're going to finish some more of these grunge type elements. So in this one, I have a few different things. I do have, you know, the grunge border. I'm going to show you that at the end so we can kind of finish off the design with that frame. But I have this snow layer. Uh, let me ungroup. I have this like snowy layer. I have all of these different snowflakes, but I also have this, my frame is all in the way, this layer of like splatter paint in here that I thought was really cool. Um, in this one, instead of doing the like sprayed dots splatter paint, I used one that was dripping. So there's so many different things that you can do. For here, let's just do grunge texture. I don't need it capitalized. Actually, I'm going to hit this grunge overlay that I used before. And again, come to graphics. Let's do This is actually the one that I used for the dripping, so I'll put it on here. You can see what it's going to do. You want to move it to the front. And then you can just make it whatever color. I like to have something that's already in my design, like that little gold. I would turn it that color. And that is how we got that one. Let me delete that. Let's do a splatter paint. paint splatter overlay. Putting these overlays in here is a good um, term to use in Canva to get something that's going to cover your whole project. Let's look at this one. That only gives me one color. Um, let's see. A problem when you put the overlay in there is sometimes it is, um, it's got the opacity lowered on it. So like this one does for sure. So we say red, right? But if I want to turn it black, you can see it's not solid black because it, it's got the opacity in it because it's an overlay. If you're running into that problem, just put in paint splatter and your things won't have that overlay issue. Oh, that's a lot of colors. I don't think we need that many, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm gonna move it to the front, and then let's change some of these colors. Let's go ahead and leave that, and then let's make this black. 
and black, and you can keep it gold. So that's how you would get that texture on there. And then um, snowflakes. I like to do the individual snowflake instead of the whole group of snowflakes. And you would just position those where you want them. Maybe do a few different snowflakes. So that was one. Let's grab. Oh, that one's going to be cool. Yeah, I like that snowflake. Okay. Stick that over here. Maybe put this up here and kind of go behind the words. Um, I don't like this overlay. I'm going to get rid of it and go look for a different one again. Let's go back to splatter paint. Oh, here's one that would just do the borders. That's really cool. Come up here to my recently used. And go and find what I actually used. It looks like I had a tough time to begin with. All right, it was this. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this to black. Yep, that's definitely better. Maybe make this white or a little creamy. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there you are working on your design. Uh, let's knock the opacity down just a smidge so our design can shine through. Perfect. Now let's get one of these black borders around it. So. Grunge border. Now if you don't want the border around it, I just... Grab the first one I saw here. If you don't want to put that around your design, you can download it just like it is, and you can pull it into one of these frames. That's exactly what I did here. Let me detach this. You can see I've got this brush stroke frame, and I just pulled the design into it, and it works perfectly that way as well. If you do want the grunge border, there are tons here. I just typed in grunge border, as you can see. You do want to pick a square one. Um, if you don't like any that they have, you can build your own by using these little solid lines. And then we would duplicate this, and we are going to flip it. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> there we go. And you would just put it around the corners that way. Um, if you, these are great because if you want, um, let me flip it this way. If you want the outside to be rough, but the inside to have a straight edge, you can do it that way too. There's so much that you can do with just mixing different brush strokes, different splatter textures, um, spray paint textures, graphics, you just layer all of it on top of each other. And you really can't go wrong. Um, picking a solid color scheme to begin with is super important though, because as you are adding all of these textured elements, you need to draw from your color scheme. So you know, like when you're changing your paint splatters, you can change them to whatever colors are cohesive with your color scheme. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.